Heyo, Cryo here. Welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. And uh yeah, we're we're here in our in our sea truck. A couple things I wanted to mention. Uh first of all, turns out I was pronouncing Chilicerit correctly. I just looked up the one pronunciation of it, or pronunciation of it, where they said Chilicerit, but uh or maybe it's like an either or situation. I'll just keep calling it them Chilicerits then. Because it seems more natural than Chilicerit. You know, it's like a 50-50 chance. It's like the difference between chair and character. They both have a CH, one's pronounced differently. Or they both have CHA, rather. And the other thing, there is an anti-Skyray poster. Uh, and I wasn't sure why it was called there. Why there was an anti-Skyray poster. But I had totally forgotten about the... Uh, what is it called? It was like a, a data entry about somebody who was uh, working on the Delta station, like, satellite radar type thing. And Sky Rays kept on pooping on it. But then the one day that that employee called in sick, and, like, one of the other employees took over, the Sky Rays left it clean. And he came back, and he's like, how would you keep it so clean? The Sky Rays must have it out for me. And that's the guy that made the anti-Sky Ray poster, I'm guessing. Anyways, here's Marguerite Maida. Margarit Maida. Freelance security personnel. Missing, previously thought to be dead. Last known contact was on a recording found in another sector of 4546B. I was there. I was there. Uh, which claims that she killed a Reaper Leviathan. That she did, I can confirm that. Uh, okay, highly distrustful of authority figures, especially those tied to corporate entities. She's strong-willed and seems cold upon initial contact. Not much is known about Marguerite. She was born and raised in the Mongolian states, a backwater corporate colony exploited for its mineral resources. She left home at 16 and went from one mercenary job to another. Eventually, she did tours with the Mongolian Defense Force and Trans System Federation. She held an esteemed career before being dishonorably discharged from the TSF for going off mission. Details are unclear, but our resources have unearthed some scant details. Marguerite was the head of an intel and reconnaissance mission. We aren't clear what she stumbled upon, but she silently eliminated the entire local security apparatus over the course of three days. Oh. Uh, none of the local families would give more information. They only said they thanked God's hand for saving them. Her last mission was aboard the Degasi as private security against potential pirates and scavengers, which crashed on 4546B. A fortnight into our voyage, I was more or less living inside the creature's ribcage. It meant shelter, and it meant food. The flesh was starting to rot. The stench was unlike anything I'd ever smelled. As we floated, the temperature dropped, and the rotten meat began to stiffen and freeze. Slowly, almost imperceptibly, the Reaper began to lose buoyancy. We sank a little each day. My sanctuary was becoming my tomb, and I was at the mercy of the current and the winds. Until one day, I saw a smattering of penguins in the distance. A smattering of them, huh? Swimming birds usually mean solid land of some kind. Sorry, I'm looking up an inventory list of my things I need for my base. Probably should have done this before later, I started the episode. I saw a blessed sight. A blessed An side. unmoving cloud sitting upon the water. Land. It renewed my spirit as I watched the land get closer and closer. The Reaper slowly sank, but I was no longer worried. When the Reaper finally sank below the water, I was close enough to lazily swim my way to shore. I made a note to come back for the Reaper skull. I didn't ride the beast for three weeks to have no proof. Hmm. Land never felt so good. Even in this... Arctic hell. Right, good to know, Maida. We need to get off this planet. I mean, the morning started off so well. I took a team of six out to find the structures from the planetary scans, and we were all in high spirits. I mean, who wouldn't be? These structures would be clues to another sentient race. <laughs> it was highly unlikely that another colony would be out this far. 
we were gonna be in the freaking history books. <laughs> Everything hey, you watch okay. your freaking we were language. A few miles from the ship when our radios picked up an actual signal. It sounded like an SOS. We got overly excited naturally and decided to enter the water to follow it. <sighs> that decision cost three lives. I mean, half my team. They got ripped to shreds by something. Oh, great. They died screaming alone in the cold, dark waters. I, I'm not going back in that godforsaken ocean again. I, I refuse. And some of the animals on this planet, they look sick too. Weird pustules on the skin, oddly sluggish. I think we should leave. But Diana said we should stay. She thinks the bio patent payoffs would be worth it, but those families will never mm. see their loved ones again. They don't care about no payoffs. We can't return the bodies. I don't care about the accolades or the history books. I just want to see Layla and the kids. Ah, man. I miss the smell of my wife's hair. Oh. The kids tackling me at the door again. Yeah. That's all I okay, want. That, that's more wholesome than the, the wife's here. hair thing. Please. Well, that's sad. Uh, let's see here. I think it's... Is it 10 titanium ingots and then 2 plasteel? I think I might have mistyped something. Uh, anyways, but I'm currently gathering the base materials I'll need. Well, to make my base. Or at least get a start on it. And we need a lot of materials. What do I have two new blueprints for? Oh, a shower and a toilet. Right. You again. Hmm. And research... Uh, kyanite. Yep, essential for advanced fabrication. Flora, the Chinese potato plant, and the marble melon plant. And for tech, the interior grow bed. Alright, uh, I will get everything put into my sea truck. Again, I probably should have done this before the episode started. Uh, and then I will see you guys once I'm back down at the Crystal Caverns. We are full up on our inventory. Our entire sea truck is full of goodies. And we're about to head back down. And with any luck, we won't run into our uh, Shadow Leviathan friend. And I have given him a name. It is Seamus. Seamus the Shadow Leviathan. Uh, that's Seamus spelled S-E-A-M-U-S. I want you to think it might be pronounced Seamus. But no, it's pronounced Seamus. And yeah, well, so we'll start constructing your base back here. Hello, punching shrimp man. Or woman, or whatever you pronounce you prefer, I don't know. You're, you're a shrimp, like Seymour the Shrimp, who I did not get to say goodbye to. Alright. So I think the first thing I should do is, well, get myself some plasteel ingots. And, okay. Plasteel. If I were Plasteel, I would be here. So there we go. We're just gonna... Make the four base rooms for now. Oh, wait, is it, is it five? No, it's four... Yeah, four large rooms. I have a checklist of the, the things I want in this base. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... And eight. There we go. I love this music. This this reminds me a lot of um I mean I haven't played this on the channel. But of uh the Calamity mod from Terraria. It reminds me of the Abyss music, and the Abyss is pretty much like inspired by Subnautica. They even have like the <laughs> Uh, the Leviathans. There's an adult and a juvenile 
Leviathan t uh, type thing in the abyss. And it was mentioned it was inspired by the ghost Leviathan. Alright, well, we'll just start here, I guess. Gotta start somewhere. Oh, that caused a little big leg spike. And I'm not sure how these connect, per se. Or if they can connect. They should be able to. Yeah, there we go. Oh, we need to build reinforcements on... Okay. I mean, yeah, it makes sense, because they're giant rooms. So I guess it makes sense that you need reinforcements to keep them sturdy. Very well. I were a reinforcement. I no. Okay, right here. One lithium, three titanium. Oh well, we have that. We have those on us. Probably should have checked to begin with. And there's no reason for us to have the windows looking out to a wall. So I'll just put the reinforcements on this side. And luckily, there's lots of room for improvement. Into two, into three. How many reinforcements did I say? Hang on, I'm gonna pause the game real quick so I don't drown. No, I just said a lot of reinforcements. It's not very specific, me. I also didn't have very specific amounts of, uh, what's it called, of uh, titanium or of, well I did have lithium. Okay, there's two. And I think we still have plenty of titanium and lithium back at our intermediary base thing by Midas. So it's fine if we run out. I think. I don't think we need... Maybe there's like a couple things we need lithium for, but nothing major. I would imagine. I'm just... I'm just taking a guess so we can not... Okay, never mind. We cannot put that there. But maybe. Just maybe... No, we cannot put that there either. Where can I put you? That's a good question to ask. If I were a moon pool, where would I rest at? Would I rest on the bottom of the sea floor? I don't know where else to go with that song. It's not even a very good song. It ended on a not a great note. And obviously we can't just put it in the middle of crystals. And I can't put it past the danger zone. Well, I could. But it's not advisable. Maybe I could just... Well, I guess I need, like, a ladder up to it. Maybe we could do something like that. The question is, how would I connect... I mean, that doesn't look great. I must be honest. That... Yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't look great at all. Just kind of levitating there. It's connected to crystals. Um, how would I connect these? I would need like more. Can I do like a verti vertical connector? Yes, I can. But I'm not sure how to vertically connect them, is the thing. Hmm. Yeah, I'm kind of at a loss right now. I'm very unsure where to build. Oh, you know what? Here, maybe... Let me move my sea truck out of the way. This could work. So I'll move you over here. And maybe, just maybe... We could build the moon pool back where the sea truck was. Somewhere. I don't want it to be, like, super high up. Because I still have to connect this to my... 
main base, or I would like to. I don't just want like a freestanding type situation. It's not really a way to get rid of those crystals. I mean, I guess it could be. It could be separate. It's not like it's that much of a hassle to uh, to swim a couple couple inches to the moon pool. I just kind of would like it to be connected in some way or another. You know what I'm saying? And can I do a vertical connector here? Yes, I can. We're doing this. It's kind of convoluted, but I think it should work. I'm out of titanium. Back to the sea truck. I would just like a main entry point for now. And well, we can always move this. Here. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. And not sure if there's a way. I probably need power to drain this anyways. That would make sense. And nuclear reactor number one. Nuclear reactor number two. Oh, can we just have three nuclear reactors in here? We could have multiple nuclear reactors. We'll start with two for now. Integrity restored. Draining systems initiated. There we go. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Power restored. 5,000 power. I mean, it's uh, it's not renewable energy by any means, but it should be plenty for now. And I can breathe again. So that's looking good. Anything else we could do for now? Get nuclear reactors. Uh, control room. Four large room glass domes. Oh, we need a lot of titanium for that. Okay, so I guess I may as well get, like, the other things going, if we can. No, I wanted to go inside the... Or I didn't want to go inside the bronze suit. I would like to... Take out the lithium and this. Actually, do I have any more titanium? I don't think I do. Might have been an error on my point. Alright, well, let's just... I still have so many materials here. You know what? No, no, no. Here, here's what we'll do. We are going to take off one of the vertical connectors for now. Or we'll just take off both of them. Because we'll be coming back down here with more resources. Welcome aboard, Captain. Uh, let me just slap down some temporary wall lockers. Just so I can store all my goodies. I only have the one titanium, that's fine. This way I can have the maximum amount of space for my next supply run. So I will return once again with another truckload of materials. I've returned, uh, pretty much actually built the base instead of just getting a truckload of stuff. I was gonna do a montage, but then I thought, you know, this is boring for me, just going back and forth. So I don't know why you guys would want to see a montage about that. I can't really go back now anyways. So, uh, yeah, I got everything down here. I went ahead and set up a lot of windows and then reinforcements, so I have like plus 80 or so 
uh, hull integrity. And the base is zero. Zero is like the bare minimum you need for it to not collapse on itself. So I'm doing pretty good. I can add in more windows. And windows do destabilize the base. So that's why I need lots of reinforcements. So I decide to relocate the moon pool, actually. So just kind of have, have it floating above here. And to my knowledge, I don't think it's going to be an issue if I land my vehicles on top of the base. I think it's just if you ram it into the side is where I feel like it hurts the base. Yeah, so I could do like little tap dances on top of my roof. I just can't ram it into the side, uh, supposedly. So actually, I am going to go take a look. Just to see if... Yeah, no, the integrity should be good. I got a plethora of lockers all set up. Got my battery chargers and my batteries over here. Uh, fabricator. These are plants, because I didn't have enough for my other plants thing. It's not super duper organized, like, well, the lockers themselves are organized. But I don't have, like, minerals in, like, five lockers over here and then. Now, these are all pretty much just random. And as the lockers got full, I just add on a new one somewhere else. So it's not super duper organized, but it's better than it was in the intermediary base I had. No, honestly, I probably could have gotten away with just doing the one large room. But, I mean, well, this is going to be, like, my pretty much permanent base anyways. Or I can just de deconstruct some things if I need to. I'm thinking maybe in this one, I'll have an alien containment unit, perhaps. starters, the one thing I want to focus on right now is getting the vehicle upgrade console and modification station set up in the moon pool. So I removed a reinforcement over here. So I did enjoy having this window here, and I didn't want to put the upgrade console there. Vacation station, we'll just plop you here. Yeah, there's pretty good. And if I were a. There I am. Or there it is. There it be. Land ho. I guess I. Is this land technically? Not really. It's not really like part of the geological earth. It's not above sea level. I'm not sure if that's what qualifies land or not. Okay, great. And actually... What do I... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure where I'm going to build this at. But I have a control room thing now. So I guess I could just set it down here in the control room you can change base lighting and colors rename your base and lighting see information colors about power and structural integrity but not no. the integrity of societal power structures. well that's a shame you could change the lighting of your base what huh Qua and you can technically name your base here how do i get in here oh i'm in Let me in. I probably need a. What you use it? There's so many fish around here, so I'm not gonna run short on food. Oh, that's another thing. There's so many things I need that need to be done. I need to set up a plant pot or two. Maybe we'll do like an indoor grow bed. We got plenty of titanium. Yeah, you know, like I said, it's not super organized. So I have to go quite a bit of distance between materials. And there's just plenty of room to 
have these growing. So I think two should be okay. Yep. There we go. But I was going to get materials to make a hatch. Let's see, what is it? It's like two quartz and one titanium? No, just one quartz, one titanium. Very well. And then let's go ahead and just move all of our planty objects. I'm pretty sure the gel sacks can only grow on the outdoor grow beds. Yeah, that is the case. So I'll have potatoes and marble melons here. And a bit of everything over there. Although... Yeah, here's what we'll do. So we'll make another... Yet another indoor grow bed. And then whatever we need to make the outdoor one. Oh, only two titanium. And that is where we'll plant our gel sac spores. Hold that empty for now. And this will be empty. Oh, I just had a brilliant idea. Instead of doing another large grow bed situation, I'll just do a couple small little, uh, little plant pots here. There we go. Everything's nice and grown. And exterior grow bed. Not sure where to put you quite yet. You could probably just place you on the floor somewhere, right? Oh, wait. Kind of that, that doesn't look pretty awkward though, so maybe not. All right, for now we'll just set you on top of the base. The grow bed doesn't lets look you great, grow plants and vegetables, there, it's fine. providing flavorful options for evading scurvy. And last but not least, let's get ourselves a nice. Thing in do a hatch. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Ooh, this looks fancy. That's the. That's obviously not the real time because it, it's uh going a bit fast there. Special and triggered to eighty-eight. What do you mean eighty-eight? What? Eh? Or is that like plus eighty-eight? Like 88 above what I need it to be. Can't really... No, I'm pretty sure that's like the plus 88 above the threshold, so I'm doing wonderful. Okay. Not quite sure how this works yet. Base name. What should we name this? Like, uh, I don't know, Dark Ice. Because it's like, we're by the Shadow Leviathan, we're in the Crystal... Crystal Cryo... Cryonic Crystals. Yeah, I'll think of a base name and I'll get back to you guys. Hey, welcome to the Crystal Crib. It's kind of like Midas Crib. It's not actual, it's not a baby crib, but it is a, um, a home crib. A place crib. A, a crib of... Cribbiness. Yeah, there's the Crystal Crib. I was gonna put Cryo's Crystal Crib, but it did not fit. That's the unofficial name that I can't fit on there. And I went ahead and changed the uh, other base colors. Looking pretty snazzy. I'm guessing these are the lights I was talking about, not the interior lights. Because I tried messing around with the other options and the interior lights appear to stay the same. 
Uh, but yeah, we should probably get some water and food into our stomachs, into our gullets. And while our other food is growing, we can just temporarily cook the plethora of red fish that we have, or red feather fish. And for some reason, why is our power not going down? That doesn't make much sense, because we only have the two reactor rods going. Do they just have like a... Does e I guess each rod has like a, its own charge, and then it has like a constant influx into the machine. So it only uses what it needs to. Maybe. I'll just say that's how it works, I'm not entirely sure. That's not really putting up our water level that much. So we shall do that instead. So I was planning on building an alien containment unit. It's five glass, two titanium. And, okay, uh, I already know about that. You told me that. Ooh, you can do like a kind of square-like shape one. It's awesome. It is awesome. I love this. We will need another hatch, I believe, to get into An here. An aquarium just for looks. Or your own personal sushi oh. factory. You decide. I love the sense of humor. I love it. Boy, that... That reflection is... Quite odd. What? Is that showing up into the... Control room? Actually, I think it might be. And let's see your titanium. I'm not sure how many eggs we're gonna have in there. Sorry, how many? How many eggs? I had to do it to him. I had to. I didn't have to, actually. There's no obligation for me to say eggs like that. But it feels oh so good when I do. And eggs. Eggs. Here they are. We should be able to fit all of them into the one containment unit, I believe. I've also noticed I say I believe a lot. So the more you know. Uh, okay, well I don't want to place down planters. I think... I just drop these in here, right? And then they hatch on their own... On their own time. Let me look up how many creatures you can have in one containment unit. Okay, ten creatures it is. We do not have ten eggs. So we should be okay. Yeah, so we already know that's a sea monkey egg. I'm not sure what the other ones are. We'll find out. Once they hatch. Okay, great. Anything else that I want to do with the base? I guess I did want to kind of see how far out I need to go for the observation thing to do. So let me grab a large quantity of glass and an equal quantity of. Well, not equal, equal, but like a fair amount of titanium. And some lithium in case we need to do reinforcements. Should be fine. There's not really a nighttime and daytime difference down here. It's just very luminescent thanks to the uh, Reaper's wine glasses and crystals. Okay, so we have our little glass container hooked up to here. Uh, I'm not sure how well this is gonna go. Keep our eye out for Seamus. Okay, Seamus. Uh, so I guess we'll do a bit of this, and then we'll. You're gonna have to curve this way. 
that's another one of the reasons that I made so many uh, compartments. Or, sorry, so many hull integrities. Hull reinforcements. It only took me three tries to get there, but I did. And we're gonna have like a drop down into that little... Well, it's not really a cave, whatever the area that is. I'm just waiting for Seamus to show up. Now this is what we gotta do to get the observation chamber. I guess technically we don't need this all to be glass, but... You know, it looks pretty sweet with the environment and stuff. So I think I'll be worth it. Oh, well, that's pretty close to the base there. And out we go. Can we... Oh, is, is that because the planter is there? I think that is the case. Alright. Once the gel sacs grow, I'll get rid of the planter so I can actually put a glass dome on top of it. I mean, it should be fine if we... Minus, about minus six. Yeah, we don't necessarily need a, uh, a glass dome on the middle one here, maybe. Yeah, it's fine if we don't have it there. But I will put one over here, and then once the gel sacs grow, then we'll have one on the third large room. Oh, and I guess maybe we could save the materials. Maybe we'll have, like, Instead of an observatory, we'll just have another large room down by Seamus. Once we find out exactly where he's, where he chills at. Not sure if I even have the materials I need for uh, another large room yet. It's just what? Well, no, it's just two plastic ingots. But we definitely need to go on a lithium scavenger hunt, which I'll probably just do that off screen. Okay, the plants are growing. What we need is a knife, a kniffy. Titanium. You know, we, I mean, we don't really need a what do you call it anyways? A glass roof on here. Because, like, what are we going to luck up to see, right? The moon... Well, actually, that would look pretty cool. Okay, I've made up my mind. Pick up all of these. And deconstruct you. Be gone, exterior grow bed. Gotta make way for a new ceiling in town. I don't think we'd be able to. Yeah, we can't. Oh, can we? Oh, I guess we can. We just build it from inside here. The more you know. Look at that. Pretty fancy. We can see our. Sea truck up there. I love it, I love it, I love it. Yeah, it's fine if we don't see, um... There's not, not really much to see up there anyways. Lap, lap it through, lap it through. Alright, that should about do it for this episode. In between episodes, I'll go hunting for some more lithium and just... I mean, just more resources in general. I won't go out past the danger zone. I don't want to find Seamus. Well, I mean, I, I want to find Seamus. I don't want to find him off screen, is the thing. I don't want to... You know, I want to be recording when I encounter him. I don't want to encounter him off screen, pause the game, set up the recording, and then pretend to act genuine. Like, you know, the initial finding of him is what needs to be recorded, not me after I encountered him. So until next time, remember to stay cool and I'll see you guys in the next video.